We all watched that gigantic mirror fall on Warren Fox during the loft blaze in 2009, and there was no way on earth that he could have made it out of the inferno alive. Hollyoaks had other ideas, though. When Jamie Lomas rejoined the show the following year, they filmed an episode of special flashback scenes that revealed how Foxy had fought off the flames and faked his own death. We were still not buying it. After all that far-fetched nonsense, things started to heat up a bit for Warren as he developed a dangerous rivalry with Brendan Brady. But just when things were starting to get interesting, Warren was arrested and sent to prison. We're pleased to report that his most recent comeback to Chester was a big improvement. Point nine. Sam Mitchell in EastEnders 2016 advertisement continue reading below following weeks of speculation, EastEnders confirmed that Sam Mitchell would be returning to Walford for Peggy's funeral. The fans were hoping to see Sam played by original actress Daniela Westbrook on screen for at least a few weeks, so felt a bit shortchanged when she didn't stick around long. Once her mum's send-off was over, selfish Sam decided she couldn't really hack being a mum, and that her son Ricky would be better off living with Jack. Bear in mind the poor boy hadn't seen his dad since he was a baby. That didn't seem to bother Sam though, and after abandoning her clueless kid at Jack's place, she then jumped into a black cab. She hasn't been heard from since point one zero. Oh. Beth Lynch in Coronation Street 2002 It's always a bit of a gamble bringing an iconic character back in a soap, and Beth Lynch's return in 2002 was one that sadly Corey lost. The leopard print loving former landlady came back to Weatherfield for Betty's retirement party, and we got all excited thinking she was home for good. But our dreams of seeing Bet back in the thick of the action were dashed. Apart from a few corny lines here and there, Bet didn't really didn't do much during her short lived stint, and after two weeks filming, Julie Goodyear made the decision to step down from the role due to the grueling schedule. Point one one. Holly Cunningham in Hollyoaks 2012 Cindy was shocked when her 14-year-old daughter Holly suddenly reappeared in her life in 2012, and she wasn't the only one. Holes played by 18-year-old actress Wallace Day, looked the same age as her mum as well as the questionable age issue. Holly's storylines were a bit samey, and mainly revolved around her rowing with Cindy. Wallace stepped down from the role after a year, and Hollyoaks recast Amanda Clapham to take over as the new Holly. It proved to be a smart move, one that instantly made the character more believable. Since then Holly's been involved in some pretty exciting plots, including a love triangle with the Roscoe twins, and running over and killing Rachel Hardy.12. Then Mitchell in EastEnders 2010 Another casting that just didn't do it for us was Joshua Pascoy's turn as Ben Mitchell, mainly because the character was so utterly vile during those two years. Ben had grown from a timid child into a toxic teen who was angry with everything and everyone in the world who can blame him with a dad like Phil Mitchell, but viewers struggled to sympathize with his constant violent outbursts. After he was sent to prison for bludgeoning poor HEV to death with a photo frame, we didn't really know what was left for Phil's bad lad. But when EastEnders found a new Ben Mitchell in the form of the brilliant Harry Reid and brought the character back in 2014, suddenly everything fell into place. It would be hard to imagine the show without Ben now. Read more news, spoilers and gossip on our EastEnders homepage want up to the minute soaps news, spoilers and gossip on your social feeds just hit like on our digital spy soaps Facebook page and follow on our at soapscoop Twitter account.